That night, Kane Morgan was lost in the dreams of his childhood. He saw the charred remains of his home. He saw himself standing alone amid the wreckage. His mother and father were nowhere to be found. Kane was very young at the time, so young that he didn't really understand that he lived in a country known as Solskia and that the neighboring country, Aldeen, had suddenly become a cruel, aggressive invader. There was one other thing. They had all left for the island. That was all he was able to remember. Hungaria was the largest country in the western continent. The elders, who at the time were the acting rulers, had abruptly dispatched a group of knights to a place known as the Island of No Return. The young king, a man called Ian, who was known for his fairness and moderate manner, inquired with the elders as to the meaning of such a dispatch, but the elders didn't bother to reply. Gillian Morgan, the loyal leader of the king's retinue, was concerned about Ian, so he decided he would learn for himself what the elders were up to. He had but one piece of evidence to guide him. It was a vague utterance made by one of the elders. Somewhere on the island of no return, was a ring imbued with eternal power. It was not a time for indecision. Gillian proposed to the king that his own son, Cain, should journey to this island. A few days later, before daybreak, a small boat departed from the port of Hungaria. It was a boat secretly obtained by Gillian for one purpose only, to carry his son, Cain, holding in his hand a sealed scroll from King Ian to the island of no return. Thanks for the lift. If you're gonna deliver that ladder, you'd be a lot better off doing it before night. You bet I will. We fishermen usually steer clear of this island. Uh, gotta be hot working for the king, huh? Best of luck to you. Hey, be careful out there.